we start by importing the package as you would in Unity 4. You will be asked if you want to import the Unity 5 shader package. For demonstration purposes, I will choose not to import the shaders at this point. Amplify Texture 2 comes with all Unity 5 standard shaders ready to be used. To use the new physical based shaders, you will have to import the shader package included in the third party folder. After the import process, the standard shaders will be put in the legacy folder and the new specular and metallic shaders will be available. The next step is to set up the scene as you would in Unity 4. Add the manager and the camera. Since I already have a camera in this scene, I will simply add the component to the existing camera. We now create the actual virtual texture used in the scene and assign the required preset. Since this scene is using the specular physical based shaders, we will choose the Unity 5 specular preset. Legacy shaders use the Unity 4 preset and the new Unity 5 physical based shaders use the specular or metallic preset. When you create a virtual texture, one of the most important steps is to choose the material folder that contains the materials you want to virtualize. In this case, we will select the specular material folder. After setting up the virtual texture, add it to the Amplify Texture 2 manager. You can use more than one virtual texture per scene. You can even combine different types. For example, if I wanted to use metallic PBR shaders, I would simply create a virtual texture, select the metallic preset and the correct material folder. You can also add the entire asset folder. This is a great choice for simple projects, but keep in mind that you can add as many folders as required. The choice is yours and you should always use whichever method works best for your workflow. It's very important to define the culling mask for the stream prepass. Only objects that contain virtualized materials should be selected. Non-virtualized objects, such as semi-transparent particles, should not be included in this layer, as they might block the Amplify Texture 2 prepass that determines which textures to stream. The next step is up to you. You can either create your Amplify Texture 2 materials manually and apply them as you would any other Unity material, or you can convert existing scenes with the automatic conversion tools provided in the package. Keep in mind that the automatic conversion will only work with the listed shaders. If you have your own custom shaders, they will have to be converted manually. You can also use the automatic conversion tools to convert from virtual to Unity shaders, or any compatible third-party package. Transcode options are also provided. In this tutorial, we will use the automatic conversion process to go from Unity 5 specular materials to virtualize in a single click. After the conversion process, all the materials included in the Virtual Texture search folder will be virtualized. A quick way to check if the process was successful is to enable the debug options in the Amplify Texture Manager. You should be able to see the stream process in action. When you add new Amplify Texture 2 materials to your scene, the Virtual Texture must be updated. To do so, you simply have to trigger the Virtual Texture build process by saving your scene, either in the menu or using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl S on Windows or Command S on a Mac. Reusing Virtual Textures is as simple as adding them to your Amplify Texture Manager and applying the virtualized materials to your objects. Virtual Textures can actually be built without being added to the current active scene. The two most important parameters are the preset and the material search folder. You can build virtual textures directly in the inspector tab and add them to any scene required. You can reuse virtual textures and materials. This is your scene, Amplify Manager and Camera Runtime included. These are virtual textures, they store all your virtualized textures. You can think of it as one giant texture. These are amplified materials. The materials tell your scene which textures to display. They also tell Amplify what needs to be streamed. And these textures are accessible through the virtual textures associated with your scene. In turn, it's through the materials that Amplify knows which textures should be virtualized. This is a simplified view of the process, but it should give you a pretty good idea of how Amplify works in the background. That's all you need to know in order to start using Amplify Texture 2 with Unity 5. As you can see, you won't have to change much in your current workflow. And remember, you can still use any other type of material in the same scene as Amplify Texture 2. 
Thank you for watching. If you have not already, check out our other Unity products. Amplify Color for all your color grading needs and Amplify Motion for high-quality vector-based motion blur. Try it today.